So when looking at these two lures right here, you may think to yourself, what in the world would eat these things? They are green, they are flashy. This one's got three legs to it. Uh, the answer is a fish called a musky. Now y'all have seen me do some musky videos on the channel before, but I wanted to take a second to uh, kind of diverge a little bit from my channel's goal, which is always to teach y'all how to become better bass anglers. And today I actually sit down with an expert in the field of catching muskies to teach y'all some tips and tricks to help you guys either catch your first muskie or catch your new personal best muskie, whether you're fishing in a lake, a river, creek, or stream, anything in between. Uh, we're gonna talk about muskie fishing today and help you guys become better anglers. So with these weird lures in hand, let's talk about it. Well, how's it going everybody and welcome back to Tyler's Real Fishing. Now, like I've told you guys, I love teaching you how to catch more and more bass, but today I'm with my good buddy, Michael Brown, a, a fishing guide for muskie up here on Lake Vermilion in Northern Minnesota. You guys have seen him now. This will be the fourth, fourth or fifth year? time. Cause I think one year I made two videos. So the fourth or fifth yeah. time he's been on my channel. And uh, I just want to kind of give him the spotlight right now to show you guys uh, if you want to catch your first muskie out there, wherever you live in the country, I guess we'll talk about some regional differences between different types of muskies, uh, at least from what we know. But muskie is a, is a complicated fish that I don't know a whole lot about. I've learned a lot. But if you want to go out there and start targeting muskies and catching them, they're one of the most fun fish to target. There's a reason why I've only caught two in my life and I spend a day or two every single year out here because it's addicting to try to get those huge fish to bite. So Mike, take it away with like first off like why is the muskie so special um so realistically it's it's more about the take um the the time to try and catch it and then that first initial hit that's the most important in my mind um we, we do it realistically for a 15 to 30 second fight that's about it and uh you could have one hit as soon as the lure hits the water halfway back or you could hit it it could hit right at the boat while you're uh, doing a figure eight with your rod tip. It just just really depends on what you're doing. Muskies are incredible, like you mentioned, the figure eight. We'll talk about all that. But if you just want to go out there and catch your first muskie, first you got to know if you have muskies in your area. So, do you know of any statistics of where muskies live? I don't know the, that off the top of my head. Okay. Um, I mean, there's plenty of states that are starting to introduce them into their waters. Got it. Um, I mean, the Midwest. Uh, I would say Minnesota, South Dakota has some. Iowa. Um, Illinois, uh, and then uh, obviously there's there's quite a few on the on the East Coast as yeah. well. Basically, but. I think anything above Tennessee, because I know there's some good muskie in Tennessee. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about anything south uh, of Tennessee, but I do know that north of there, plenty of muskie. St. Lawrence River supposedly has big ones here. Minnesota has big ones. There are big muskies everywhere, and they're especially creeping usually right where your boat is sitting. So if you're bass fishing, you're gonna be fishing the bank or whatever. Those muskies are oftentimes sitting a little bit farther off. When it comes to catching your first muskie, let's just say someone doesn't know what to do. They don't know what kind of gear to buy. They see all of these lures that Mike has sitting down here. He's got at least, what, 100 plus in your uh, boat right now? Yeah. And they're all different types and sizes uh, and weird colors. And so what do they need to get started for musky fishing? So we can talk lures, rods, line, everything all day long. Um, there's so many different variations, but the most important thing is being able to take care of the fish. There's a lot of bodies of water that are very low density for muskies. Mm -hmm. And we rely on catch and release to, uh, you know, get those fish up to, you know, in here, that 50, 55 inch potential. So release materials and learning how to take care of the fish when you, when you catch one. The biggest thing is having some good hook removers, whether it's this kind of hook uh, polar or real long uh, needle nose pliers. And then this is probably the, my most important tool in terms of releasing a fish. Um, cutting hooks, I do it all the time. It, it, it takes the time from sitting there trying to watch your hands, you know, the fish is shaking around. If you go ahead and just start cutting hooks out of the fish rather than trying to pull them out, it's gonna save time and it's gonna save that fish a lot of times. Honestly, it, you know, depending on the size of your boat and the size of the fish you're fishing for, uh, a net. Big, giant, deep bag on the net. A big net. I mean, that, that's like four foot long. Yeah, it, it's, <laughs> it's mostly for what you're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna net that that fish head first. You're gonna get it all the way into the bottom of the bag, and you're gonna leave that net in the water and hanging over the side of the boat so that fish can sit in the water and kind of recuperate itself as you're removing the hooks. It's become uber you know, important. Yeah. to keep these fish living because we would never have these 50, 55 inch fish in this lake if we didn't do it. 
Exactly. They are the fish of 10,000 casts. Yes. And so, especially on lakes like this. So if you do not properly take care of them, you're not going to catch them. But to catch them, you have three lures sitting here. So mm -hmm. what are these What are these main three you think they need? Well, in terms of categories wise, yeah. um, you're going to have your bucktails. And if I were to start off um, buying lures, um, it just kind of depends on the body of water that you're fishing and what colors you want. But uh, anything with like double eights or double nines are going to be relatively easy uh, to retrieve. Uh, up here on Vermilion, some of our best ones are going to be uh, like a black and nickel, some dark colors because we have dark water. So they're, they're actually keying on, in on that shadow a lot. And then uh, the, the biggest thing is getting that vibration. There's lots of different bucktails out there and they're different vi vibrations. But I would say, you know, depending on the body of water that you're fishing, kind of base it off of the color off of what you're, you know, what the muskies are feeding on and get that color of bucktail. Rubber baits, uh, medusas, bulldogs, anything else. I run a lot of natural color, natural colors on the, on the rubber baits um, because we have lots of whitefish, ciscos, walleyes, everything else in this lake. So I like a real natural presentation. Um, How is that natural? <laughs> wow, I mean the color is natural. The color is natural. The color is natural. <laughs> The, the tails and everything is just adding vibration. We can fish for them in real low light conditions. We can fish for them in, and we fish a lot of muskies, you know, late, late into the night period. And that's where the, all this vibration is coming from is because they're going to they're gonna feel it rather than see it. Top water, uh, they make all different kind, you know, colors, top water, everything like that. My favorite top water is going to be an all black top water, whether that's a creeper, um a blade bait like this i mean it just really it it casts the best shadow so when a fish is coming from underneath it's going to actually be able to see it better than anything else because it's it's casting a nice shadow because it's all black um, and there's lots of different variations and it kind of depends on the speed that you want to work these at um, this is a little bit faster of a moving top water they make creepers where you're going to barely you know they're just going to creep along the, the top of the water and uh you just kind of experiment with them. Exactly. But if I had to go anything, I'd go uh, a black bucktail with nickel blades, uh, a natural colored soft plastic, and a black top water. Now, I'm also looking back here, and I see some colors like this that are not even close to black and nickel. Yep. And some of them you got are, are clown colors and rainbows, and what's the need for these sometimes? Well, I mean, it just comes down to experimenting. So, like, this is a more so like a walleye color. You know, we have all these different kinds of colors. You know, just because the amount of time we spend out here, we can get very, very particular on what we want to try and use. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to go off of consistency in terms of a Minnesota as a whole, a, a black bucktail will, you know, if you're if you're just getting into it, will outshine a lot of other bucktails. I would say, you know, your golds and your coppers, kind of a natural color is, is also awesome, but it's it's more so, if I'm speaking in terms of the black and, and the golds, that's your good starting off point because realistically, I mean, these lures are, you know, 15 20 25 all the way up to 50 dollars a piece and so i would have to suggest if you're going to start off by buying a couple that's the couple i would buy exactly and so you'll see these lures are all big because you're going for a big fish yep. this is a this is almost like swim baiting for largemouth you know this yep. is a it's a big fish technique that's why you're not throwing little swim baits you're throwing the swim bait of the muskie which is like a medusa something huge like this uh and to do this you need a rod of some kind mm -hmm. right yep. so what when it comes to like you know bank fishing in a river somebody's got muskies in tennessee let's say you're in tennessee fishing a mountain river what kind of rod do they need um, to throw a bucktail uh in a river so realistically if you're going to be on a river um you would want so this is a nine foot that would be a good option depending on how much room you have yeah uh this is a nine foot uh, uh st Croix legend tournament um, rod mm -hmm. and I really like to have everything a little more hefty duty because you're going to be able to throw the smaller stuff but you're going to have the backbone to throw some bigger soft plastics if if you spend and, and I would suggest buying just a couple lures and then spending the rest of your money on a rod because in the end the rod is is going to be your most important piece because if you can't cast far enough or you can't do a big enough figure eight it's 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 kind of defeating the purpose of having a good lure um, so good quality rod if, if you're gonna be fishing off the bank I would probably go more so an eight and a half footer and anything in between the uh, the medium heavy to heavy uh, action out of it cool so 
and then for boats let's say somebody's fishing a, a minnesota lake you know lake bemidji whatever so out of the, out of the boats um, st Clair, or something like that yeah out of the boats um especially out of these big uh multi-species deep v i really this is my all-time favorite rod that I've, that I've got a chance to use uh st Croix legend tournament 10 foot um mm -hmm. The the figure eight and the ovals, the boat side maneuvers in order to try and get that fish to eat the bait because a lot of times they'll follow it up and not eat it until the boat. This allows you to get those big turns and uh, and to be able to trigger that fish into yeah. eating. Um, and then it, it, the the longer rods actually aid you not so much for the, the for the boat side stuff, um, but more so it gives you a lot better casting distance and hook uh, leverage. Gotcha. So if you have a longer rod with a longer softer tip. It allows that tip to load up and fling that, that lure out. Exactly. And like you said, fish are going to follow the boat. You want to make sure you're doing a figure eight or a circle. And we'll have some action here at the end of the video to show you guys some fish catches from both me and Mike's boat, someone else's boat, and also some action from today because uh, we, had a, we had a big one follow my lure for a little bit. But uh, muskies are fun. They are, they are cool. And if you guys are curious about that, of course, I think the number one thing, if you're going to pick up any type of fishing, save up money and go on a guide trip of some kind. I don't want this to become a, a you know, plug for Mike, but the guides know what's best. And if you want to learn how to swim bait fish, if you want to learn how to musky fish, you want to learn how to drop shot, go out with somebody, maybe a buddy of yours, that knows that technique well, that way you can kind of jumpstart your, your uh, career. And that's what Mike has allowed me to do, is that any time I go for musky by myself, if I decide to, I know what to do because he's taught me how to do it. So hopefully you all enjoyed. You got any parting words for the the viewers, any last musky sayings? Cast your arm off. <laughs> cast, cast your arm off, that's good. And we'll see you all next time on TRF. Okay, that's a big one. Where's the camera? That thing is huge. That thing is huge. Holy cow. Yeah, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, oh, oh. the drag was loose. I had to tighten it down. I was trolling last battle. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, you big boy. Yes! Woo! Came in off net. in the net. Look at that. Look at that, Taylor. Oh. There you go, buddy. Oh, you man. Oh, I'm so pumped. Boat, what, an hour? An hour. hour or so? An hour into Lake of the Woods, and this is what we get. Wow. I am, I'm blown away by how beautiful this dish is. Let's, uh, what's the process here? You're fishing ground. Yeah, yeah. He's still green though. What does that mean? Still Angry? Lively. Let's get, yeah. the, get the hook out of the net first. Uh, gosh. <laughs> Came out of nowhere and ate that thing. I'm Ooh. just gonna quickly grab a photo and then you'll get everything else. Gotcha. Man, folks, look at how beautiful this fish is. My first muskie of all time, probably 40 inches. Sweet. What a rush, eh? Got some up close photos? Yeah. Alright, nice. Alright, we're gonna go over the release. That's a great photo. All scarred up Got on him. the tail. I'm trying to let this fish go right here. How do I know when they're ready to be kicked off? You basically just hold them and they'll go. Yeah, it starts giving you some signs of life. Uh-huh. Alright, here he goes. Bye bye. Come on. Oh, she's on. Yes. Yes, Natalie. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes! Woo! Woo! Yes! Oh my gosh. Let's go! That was the easiest, oh, easiest net job ever. That was literally. I believe that. That was the easiest. <laughs> That was not a hard catch. Holy cow. Did you eat it good? Oh my, dude, I can't see the bait. Yikes. Oh, you're oh right. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna let you take the hooks out of this one. What do we got? 46 and a quarter. Nice. 46 and a quarter. Can we get some pictures? I'll get some nice pictures. You're good. That's a beautiful fish. Well, the wind has picked up. We are, uh, we're trolling right now, but a storm is blowing in right now as we speak, and it's getting, it's getting windy. I'm gonna put the chest cam on. I'm, I'm letting him take it. Woo! Oh my. Yes. 
Yeah, that's a that's a big musky there. Big fish. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, How big you thinking? I don't know. <laughs> that is a big. Yeah. Way down, so I'm gonna have to take out the board. There you go. Yep. Gosh. Heck yeah! Woo! I'm sure the audio is just great with the wind. Rod tip towards you. I just lost my shoe. Here we go. Early hook. Let's go, baby. Right oh, let's go. Give me some of that. Oh my goodness. That is, that is my PB. It's <laughs> not a walleye, that's for sure. Dope, dope, dope. Let's go, let's go. <gasps> Boom. That's a good one. What are, we, what are we thinking? All right. 45. 45. All right, Heck down. yeah.